Welcome back to Honkai Star Rail. Good morning, gamers. It is actually morning. It's 8.30 in the morning. There's a Trailblaze Continuance mission that I have to go and do in Yarilo 6 or whatever the hell. I hadn't been there in a while, and I'm supposed to see how Bellabog is and stuff, so I need to navigate here so we can continue, because I was told I need to do this before I uh, continue on with my uh, Trailblazer missions. It'll all make sense, apparently. Hey, did you hear about our next stop? It's a world called Penacony. I heard. I hear it's a beautiful, dreamy place. I'm so excited. My headphones were turned up too loud. That that noise was piercing my ear holes. But Pom Pom said the banquet we were invited to is still a little ways off. Hmm, what can I do to pass the time? Shoot. Huh? Shoot is that people. my phone? I don't know. Must be the group chat. I haven't been looking at any of these chats, <laughs> to be honest with you. I am so behind. Can you read this message, Express Crew? Hey, Bronya. What is up, Bronya? Bronya, we're missing you so much. Great, I was worried that you couldn't receive messages. Why? I know you're busy, so I'll keep it short. Re uh, oh, that's not short at all. Uh, preparing the Bellabog, Bellabogian festival, uh, the Soulworm festival. The standard celebrations for the festival have been suspended for years due to fragment, due to the fragmentum and the lockdown. And Bellabogians now really need a heated celebration to lift their spirits. So, if you have time, I'd like to invite you to the Soulworm festival and witness what we've achieved so far in reviving Bellabog. Sure thing. I was just there not too long ago doing an adventure mission. Yay! Festival time! Festival time! If I move too far forward, the sun blinds my face. Don Hung been busy these days? He hasn't sent any messages in the group chat. I, I, I like how he added him. Alright, cool. That's awesome. Ah, that Don Hung. He can't just ignore Branya. He did. That's why he's not Let's talking to her. Let's go to his room and talk to him. I don't know if we want to go in his room. He he just turned into Don Fung the last time I saw him, and uh, I don't want to know what he's doing in there now. Uh, what the is a letter? A letter quietly lies on the table in the passenger car, judging from its texture and style. It's from the Zhan Zhao. Zan Zhao. On the paper, the names of the sender and recipients are all omitted with a faint tra trace. Ugh. I can't talk this morning. Trace of dim ink vaguely visible. Uh, forget it. I'm not ready for that yet. <coughs> I'm probably going to get told that it was important, but I, I, no, whatever. What are you doing in here? Stop touching yourself. Don Hung. Branya just sent all of us a message. Did you see it yet? Yeah, Bra yeah Branya sent yes. us a message. I almost said, I yeah, Bran it. hung. <laughs> then why didn't you reply? Branya's a good friend of ours. Because he didn't freaking want to. That's I'm why. I'm not in the mood for idle chat. You're never There's in the mood for anything. My mind since this is why mom food. left you. It was uh, tough on the spirit. Uh, Don Hung, I'm the one who should be sorry. I was being too pushy. You're right. You went through a lot on the Sienjo. Take all the time you need. Yeah, good job, March. Now you pissed him off. Don Hung, stay on the express and get some rest. <sighs> it's yeah. great. Okay. All right, yeah. We we don't need a long ass you explanation for him saying that he needs Looks to go to like bed. It's just the two of us then. Yes, it is. Uh, he's been through know, a lot lately. But it's still a shame, don't you think? I mean, uh, sure, but Himeko could come with us. Oh, okay. Uh, what about Pom Pom? Pom can't just leave the express whenever they feel like it. You didn't know? It seems like someone hmm. wasn't paying attention. Apparently, I wasn't. Why don't we go ask Himeko to tag along? She might be up for an adventure. I don't want to ask Himeko you anything. I want to take Pom Pom. Now, now that I know there's an option for it, I want to take Pom Pom before, with right? us. Well, now's your chance. 
chance. Oh my god, you're so annoying. I hate you so much. I don't think I... Have I ever been down to the end of this hallway? Oh yeah, I think I have. Oh, she was all the way down hey, here. Hey, Marge. That's a big smile on your face. What's the good news? Uh, we want to invite you to a festival! Yay! Organized by the Supreme Guardian. And we're invited to go take in the sights and sounds. Don Hung won't be going anywhere for a while. He's still resting up, so want to come with us? I mean, considering how you helped us out with Kakolia, I'm sure Branya would be happy to see you. <laughs> ah, so that explains the grin. You're excited about the celebration. Yeah! Aren't you excited? You should be invite, excited! But I'm afraid my hands are full right now. Please, your hands are always to the full. Supreme Guardian. They're always full of Make the penis. most of the festivities. You've earned it. You two and Don Hung did help save Yorillo 6 after all. I'll be sure to join you guys next time. Yorillo 6, that was how you said uh, that. Navigators really do have their plates full, huh? Seems like it's just you and me this time. Looks like it. Let me go pack some stuff for the trip first. Hurry up! Come and find me when you're ready to set off. Hurry up! All right, cool. Oh, what? I'm allowed in her room now? <gasps> I'm allowed in her room. Okay then. Pretty neat, right? Uh, sure. It, he was looking at her boobs. He was definitely looking at her boobs. When did you buy it? It's actually not new. I just never had the right occasion to try it on. This kind of event doesn't come around every day. Why shouldn't I dress for the occasion? You're not really gonna wear that same old outfit. Are you? Why not? It looks nice to me. Uh, let's just pretend I never said anything. As long as one of us is making an effort. Yeah. Okay, cool. Pajama, well, I guess let's go. Water bottle, pom pom doll. That should be everything. Let's go. Yeah. Wow, that was fast. Don't you have anything you want to bring with you? Uh, why are you bringing pom pom doll? My relics all have speed attributes. Nope, just myself. Huh. You do seem to travel light. I but tried to. Don't you at least need some pajamas? Just myself. Uh, why? Why do I need pajamas? I don't care. I wear the same shit to bed. Rillo Six's average temperature has warmed up quite a bit. It's much warmer than it was on our first trip there. Well, that's good. I wouldn't call it livable just yet, but things are looking up. I'm so happy for Branya and Zila. I'm so happy Ready for to them go? too. You bet it's time to celebrate! Ah, celebrate! Celebrate good times, come on! Hey, hey, let me at him, let me at him. Let me after that little pecker. Get him! Wait, who is it? Bella Bog. Seven hundred years. Who are you? Oh, hello. <laughs> it's never too late to pick up the tab. Okay. Wait, who who is she again? How do people living in all this snow celebrate anything? Oh, oh these these guys are alive again. Ooh, no. Wait. By the way, by the way, before I forget. I also have Robin. I forgot to say something about it, but I have Robin. And we're, we're gonna be kicking some ass with some Robin. But first off, let's just do our normal shit. Spend freely. Uh, hi, uh. Listen to the final song of life. Uh, support. Harmony and unity. Damage boost. Hi, uh. Do you know who I am? This big diamond! It's, it's all cool. yours. Time to twirl. Tonight. Alright. So Here we go. Here's the song. Welcome to the What are you looking at? Time to twirl! 
Hedge your bets. It's on me. Huh? The dice have been cast. Oh yeah, the, these dudes just got effed up. Oh well, <laughs> I wasted her song. Uh, I, I I got some stuff going. At least I didn't die. That would have sucked if I died using Robin. Who are you? Oh, wait a sec. That person over there. That doesn't look like a Silvermane guard uniform. Yeah, it doesn't look All like in it. in black. Surely they're not IPC on this world? Am I IPC? Confused? I don't know who that is. The Interastral Peace Corporation. Who else? The one whose insignia is pretty much I don't know. Leader? That IPC. Okay. You still don't remember? Oh, what about Findy? That's one of their products. Oh, and the Interastral Peace broadcast. You know the one always being played on Okay, the I get it. Shut up. Never mind, it's not that important. Shut up. The important Just shut up. question Just is, shut up. Shut up. I don't have time for your bullshit. Your shut up. Mm, there's only one way to find out. Let's go ask. I've always All right, cool. Are you easy to talk to? Hi. Do you work for the Interastral Peace Corporation? Or are you just dressing fancy today? Both. Uh... Why are you looking at me? Boss, encounter with two unknowns. Want me to take them out? Over. Oh, what? Just Wait, what? Hang tight for a second. I'm on my way. Don't do anything stupid. Uh, I, we were about to get our asses blown up. <laughs> oh, to make your acquaintance. Oh, Topaz. I'm Topaz okay, investment expert right. from the Interastral Peace Corporation. I'm here on Urella Six for a special business assignment. You'll have to forgive my colleague here. People scales aren't his strong. I haven't suit. come across Topaz yet, so hard. that's why I didn't know. You, oh, you scared the life out of me. We're here for the celebrations. We're not looking for more conflicts. Yes, we are. Oh, right. We should probably introduce ourselves. I'm March seventh, a passenger of the Astral Express. You may have heard of it. And this is my friend and fellow passenger. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. No kidding. I could tell you weren't locals from a mile away, but I didn't expect to run into two nameless here. Fate is such a curious thing. It certainly is. I heard <laughs> that Rilla Six only stepped out of the Stellaron shadow thanks to the direct intervention of the Trailblazers. Uh, surely you two aren't. Uh, that's us. The honor is yours. Huh? Jeez, can you be a little more humble? No. <laughs> I never imagined I'd run into living legends here. Must be your lucky day, huh, Numby? Numby! I've blown up a lot of your kind. Wow, Miss Topaz. You're really young for an IPC executive. That's impressive. <sighs> More good luck, I suppose. But it's not as cushy as you think. Scurrying from one side of the galaxy to the other. Going wherever businesses require me to be. That seems pretty freaking easy to me. Huh. Your job sounds pretty similar to the express cruise. Aside from the business, I guess. Oh, Bronya okay. moves fast. The crisis is only just over and she's already opened talks with the IPC. Mm, not exactly. <laughs> These talks aren't exactly what you might expect, but I have to agree. The Supreme Guardian definitely knows how to govern a city. And that's the reason I'm here on Urello 6, to meet with her. Ah. Uh, Miss March, you okay. said you were on your All way right. to Bellabog festivities, right? My apologies for delaying you both. No, nope, you're gonna follow hey, don't us. Be sorry. You're gonna follow us it's and come. It's not like we're in a rush. Want to come to the city with us? The snow plains are freezing, and it's easier than you think to get lost out here. Thanks for the concern, but I'll manage. It's my first time on this world. I'd like to take it in its vast, iconic snowscape for just a little longer. 
Who knows? Maybe mm. we'll cross paths again during the celebrations. Oh, uh, here's my contact information. I don't usually respond during work hours, but I'd be happy to chat off the clock. Wow, I actually managed to get an IPC executive's phone number without even trying. Mm. <laughs> I'm in charge of a project worth 8 billion credits, by the way. <laughs> Teach me how to get rich. <laughs> me too. <laughs> you two make a cute bear. <laughs> but uh, both anyway, of those answers, I didn't want to say either See one. You, you two make a cute pair? What, what are you the trying to say? The universe is huge, yet we somehow stumbled onto the same path. Fate truly works in mysterious ways, don't you think? Uh, yeah, sure. On. Let's head into the Why not? City. Yeah, let's go to the city. I want to go to the festival. I want to get me a funnel cake. Let me in. Do it. So there was no point in me, like, traveling there. We weren't even really going to do much. We just ran up the wow. hill and we were like, oh, hey. There are people everywhere. Are you sure we're in Bellabog? Now to check out the yep. main event. Looks the livelier. Food. Come on, keep up. Wait, wait, where was I supposed to go? Oh. And I'm gonna go over here first. Uh, collect. Oh, petroleum jelly. I wanna buy something. Uh, let's see, uh, confirm that. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna take your entire stock of everything. Just saying. I have plenty of credits for it, so, uh, yeah, just give me all your shit. Hiya, bada. Don't worry, guys, I'm just about done taking all his shit. All right, thank you. Thank you for your shit. Thank the heavens. Uh, uh, this is trash anyway. Thanks again, boss. What? I'm confused. Oh, I'm supposed to go over there. I was like, where is the map trying to take me? Uh, hey, quick! Sir Ball's about to start singing. Yeah, listen. I'm gonna listen right in front of her, right in her face. Yep, let's hear what you got. Come on, Serval. Heartbeats will shake me. So rules can't break me. Crank the sound and let your soul be free. The lightning strikes right off the wall. Let yourself fall into it all. Yeah, I'm I'm done listening to that. <laughs> I'm way done listening to that. Wow. That was wild. Is that Pela? What up, Pela? What are Next you doing over here? Introducing the history of the museum. Everyone listen carefully, okay? Bellabog's History and Culture Museum was founded 600 years ago and was originally built to memorialize Supreme Guardian Alyssa. Oh, so hungry. I wish I could have her Oh my sunset god, shut right up, now. kid. Shut up. <clears throat> it was built to memorialize Supreme Guardian Alyssa Rand. And also... Guess what? I heard there's going to be a Silver Mane Adventure Camp opening in the Overworld soon. It's going to be super awesome. Also, oh, are these the kids from the uh, underworld the war or underground? Invaders, 700 years ago. This Pela, Peter is falling asleep. Enough. <laughs> Enough <laughs> whispering aloud. If you don't want to have any homework later, you'd better start listening. Oh shit, Pela got her. Pela got him. That's better. Uh, <clears throat> now, 
Where was I? Okay, can we move along? Well, I never knew Pela had a strict side. Well, yeah. Whenever you deal with children, you have to have a strict side because they're all little dumbasses. I'm hungry. I'm tired. Shut up. Hey, girl, what you up to? I opened your treasure chest. Oh, Gertie, it's been too long. Ah, oh, is that little March? What brings you this way? I heard you left to go travel the galaxy. Oh, you're mm. here for the Soul Worm Festival, right? The atmosphere is like no other. Silly me, where are my manners? Grab yourselves a sun cake each. So this is your aunt. Hot. Hey, that's not fair. But Get she knows you as Marge. What's your real name? Ever heard of first come, first served? Nope. Show a little respect. If it weren't for these two, we'd be eating geo marrow by now. Damn. Oh my God! Take a look at these beauties. Damn, these told are the them. best sun cakes I've made all day. Oh wow, they smell so good. Damn, they look so crispy and crunchy. Egg and oh, bread and grapes. It looks like. It looks pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> well, I agree. Don't wait for them to get cold now. Oh, I'm sorry, sweethearts. I'd best see to these other customers before their hunger gets the better of them. Thanks for Damn, saying. she's pissed at that one dude. <laughs> it's like you piece of shit. Ah, uh, you. Who'd have thought just taking a stroll could be so tiring? Um, me. Stay I'm fat. Could... And there was one. There was one other thing I didn't do. And it was over here by Gertie. Yeah, good part. The Supreme Guardian mentioned there'd be mystery guests attending the Soul Worm celebrations, but I didn't think it'd be the express crew. That's right. I it's hope you me. had a smooth journey. I should have dispatched Silvermane guards to welcome you on arrival. My yeah, apologies. why didn't you do that? Why didn't you do that? That was rude. You asshole. I hate you, Depart. I hate you so much. So this friend of mine. That's weird. That's stairs over there, but then that's a ramp right there. I'm I'm confused. You know what I mean. This whole layout of Bellabog is weird. Mm hmm Cleepoth Fort. Let's go. Hey, there there you are, I Topaz! The difficulties that this world is facing, Supreme Guardian. Bellabog's current financial burden cannot be pinned on you nor anyone else for that matter. However, objectively speaking, since Bellabog has existed as an independent entity to this day, its debt cannot simply be written off. Hmm. Topaz, you're being a bitch? Oh, it looks like we have some visitors. Branya! And Topaz? You're here too? I guess you've already started your business talks. We'll get out of your way if... It's no bother. We've pretty much wrapped things up already anyway. <sighs> Please consider my plans carefully, Supreme Guardian. If Eurela 6 wants to rebuild its connections with the rest of the galaxy, your credit record with the IPC will be of great importance. <sighs> You've made yourself clear, Miss Topaz. I'll require some time to consider my next course of action. Naturally. Okay. However, while you're Naturally. deliberating, <laughs> my colleagues will need to carry out some operations in Bellabog. I hope that your subjects in the underworld are cooperative. Uh, I'm sorry maybe? our business got in the way of a reunion with old friends. I'll get out of your way. Uh, Alright, cool. You stopped talking. Why did you need to... Uh, we get it. Get out. You're a bitch. You're hateful. Don't be mean to my Bronya. Is everything all right, Bronya? I didn't know Miss Topaz was so intense. 
She's no, she was nice walking. She's not in her. a tent. It's good to see you two again. Welcome back to Bellabog. I planned a special reception, but I had to deal with an unexpected guest. The lady you just witnessed, she claims to represent the IPC. Yeah, that's what she told There's us. No need to keep either of you in the dark. To tell the truth, I have too much weighing on my mind right now to even think about the Psalmworm Festival. Uh, what exactly did Miss Topaz say to you? Uh, since you've already made her acquaintance, I needn't explain who she is. I'm sure you've heard pieces of Bellabog's history the first time you visited. She's the IRS. The Legion's invasion 700 Rail? years ago. How the Stellaron brought about the Eternal Freeze. It seems that much of Bellabog's history from that time was buried deep beneath the snow. Those memories were lost and weren't passed down to the subsequent generations of Supreme Guardians. Oh. Interesting. Topaz shared with me the story of the Stellaron's descent upon Yarillo 6. Oh gosh, she's going to tell us the story. the original outsider stationed here foresaw the impending disaster and chose to leave in large numbers. Among those outsiders were several investors from the Interastral Peace Corporation. Before they departed, they did something noteworthy. They sought out architects who refused to leave, those who insisted on defending their homes. The IPC provided these architects with significant funds to aid them against the coming disaster. It was with those funds mm. that Bellabog was able to construct its immense walls. Even the initial funding for the development of the first batch of automatons was drawn from the same pool. That's crazy. Wow, that's a pretty incredible story. So, does that mean Topaz's business here is to collect a debt from Bellabog? Well, from the yes. other Supreme Guardians, but so. since your Supreme that's Guardian ridiculous. is going to come out of your ass. What's with the timing? What took them You so got to pay your taxes. Here? If it wasn't for us eliminating Fix the Stellaron, they'd have nothing to collect. It's obvious they're just trying to take advantage. According to her account, the repayment period agreed upon by the architects and the IPC investors was 280 years. However, less than a century after the loan was taken out, the connection between Yarillo 6 and the rest of the galaxy was completely severed. The IPC deemed that the disaster had caused irreparable damage and that there was no civilization left to reclaim the debt from. Hmm. As such, they considered the owed sum permanently lost. So wait, is that it wasn't probably... It was until the Stellaron crisis was resolved that the IPC discovered that Bellabog had survived. Maybe they put the Stellaron here. And that's when here. they sent Topaz over to collect the debt. Maybe. I don't know. And... The I'm just talking out of my ass. And the interest. How much is owed? Sixty trillion dollars. I don't even know how to read such a long string of numbers. Before you both arrived, Topaz warned me that if the payments were delayed, the IPC would give her the authority to employ strong measures. Oh. I had no idea things were like this. Here I was thinking the IPC had come to rebuild Bellabog, not extort it. That, well, mm, that's crazy. Uh, looks like we'll have to intervene. I doubt the Bellabogians can do anything about this on their own. Right. We need to figure out how to help them. The IPC is Or they could do it on their powerful. own. I mean, even if Bronny not really affecting in, me much. It'll be hard for her to resolve the situation. You seem to have a deeper knowledge of the Interastral Peace Corporation than I do. But if the records are accurate, and they truly have a presence throughout the galaxy, the IPC could crush the Bellabog Ipka. like a bug if they wanted to. Well, that's bullshit. I'm glad you're both here. I know you came oh. for the festival, but now... Uh, well, now we're not going to get shit! Because now we have... You, you, and the you, owe, you owe taxes! Help. Do you think you could persuade Topaz to reevaluate the situation? No. The Express's reputation precedes it. Perhaps there's still hope? Mm, Have no God. fear, Bronya. Uh, <laughs> I want to help you. Will always be at their side. I want it. Uh, let's bring out the big uh, guns. I don't think we're <laughs> at that stage yet. 
Miss Topaz seems like a reasonable <laughs> Just overdo it every time. With your silver tongue, I'm sure we'll make some progress. Um, maybe. I want to so bring much, out the big guns, though. <laughs> I'm so sorry for dragging you into more trouble. While you're out looking for Topaz, I'll see if I can think of a strategy to deal with the situation. Best of luck, and stay safe. There was a piece of my nail that still messed up. Uh. There we go. All right, I fixed it. Aha! All right, oh, March, hey. let's go. I just remembered. Topaz gave me her number. We mm -hmm. might as well just be direct and ask her where she is. She seems like the type of person who appreciates a straight approach. Mm, you think so? Are you there, Miss Topaz? Uh, greetings, Director Topaz is currently busy and not able to reply to your message. Uh, an auto reply. Uh, checking Director Topaz's schedule for you. Currently, Director Topaz is, an, is on an inspection tour of the S History and Culture Museum. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Well, let's let's go to the museum. I want to go to the museum. Okay, got it. <laughs> She's at the museum. Let's get going. Yeah, come on. I'm already down here. We better think about what we're going to say. She might be young, but she is an IPC executive. Oh my god. Executive. She's definitely hey, no pushover. Hey bitch, leave Bella Bog alone. And that's what I'm going to tell her. Watch, just just wait. Just just you wait. That's what I'm going to tell her. And then she's going to respect Bella Bog forever. Oh, there you are. Oh, it's you two again. This is the third time today we've run into each other. That is correct. You know how to count. Uh, cherish the moment. Actually, we sent you a message. Why, of course I will. Meeting friends from the Astral Express is always a moment worth cherishing. Well, that's, you make that's fantastic. Painting. I'm no expert, but just from the artist's strokes, I can tell it's no ordinary piece. It's a some ordinary piece. It portrays piece. a certain kind of uh, Maybe Mudahar made sorrow, it. you know? Not your everyday kind Goddamn, of sadness. Son. It runs much deeper than that. It's as if the artist had condensed history into one poignant but sorrowful image. The artist's brushwork depicts a generation's, no, several generations' hardships. Wow. Seems like you know your art. <laughs> Not at all. The analysis that just seemed of like the best message. I wouldn't take my word for it. The Express has visited many worlds. I'm sure the Nameless have a far greater knowledge of such things than myself. I don't know shit. I Sorry. suppose what I'm trying to say is what I'm drawn to isn't the style in which a piece is painted, but its overall value. Its intrinsic value may only be 50,000 credits, but its added value might push the total up to 200,000. That's wild. Uh, sorry for crashing your Inflation party, is crazy. But we came to talk to you about something else. Oh? A collaboration between our two sides, perhaps? Uh, not exactly. Not exactly. <laughs> not exactly. <laughs> let's walk and talk. This way. Yeah, let, let's go. Ah, god Damn, the sun. I'm going to have to Most close the curtains. Most exhibits in this museum are of little value. But, with a keen eye, it's possible I wanted to, to find run. the diamond in the rough, so to speak. I, I wanted to walk so that way. <laughs> Rania's already told us about Bellabog's debt situation. Oh. You two are closer than I expected with her. So, yeah. how can I help? Not sure in the arrangement, or... We, uh, uh, help me out here. You know I'm not good at this kind of thing. Uh, we want to ask for a favor on behalf of Branya. The IPC's demands are unreasonable. The Express will pay off. Yeah, let's put it on the Express. Hey, nobody agreed to that. Hey, <clears throat> you told me to handle it. We're That's what we're going to do. We're actually here on behalf of Branya. It's 
just, you know, given Bellabog's circumstances, it isn't exactly a wash with money right now. The Bellabogians don't have the means to pay off such a huge debt. I understand. From your point of view, I can see how unreasonable it appears. Yeah, so don't do However, it. However, you must understand that debt collection is a big part of my job. Oh, you're a I've debt collector. Cases are more okay. difficult than Bellabogs. I appreciate each well, case has its difficulties, but the hell with debt collectors. Every late debtor has a special case. The galaxy's economy would come to a grinding halt. Uh, what a heartless way of seeing things. And if the debt debt can't be the repaid, the strategic investment department is well versed in handling such situations. We can offer the debtor various repayment solutions. Mm -hmm. But Urilla 6 has far exceeded the allotted repayment period. I'm afraid milder solutions aren't the order of the day. So, I propose to Branya. Oops. Oh, you propose? Oh, almost gave away trade secrets there, didn't I? Oh, that was a close one. Uh, the exhibits here are pretty ordinary. I estimate. What did you tell her? Much. Come on, come on, spit uh, it out, spit oh, it out. Keep moving. We're, we're gonna figure it out from her one way or another. So you're basically saying the Bellabogians must pay off their ancestors' debts. When you think about it, it's just another part of the cycle of life. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna get like sure right up on her ass. That. Yeah, let me smell that ass. Let me smell it. <laughs> wow. I'm, just, I'm five. Is that little critter native to Urillo 6? Uh, maybe. It's so white and It's bloody. a tiny little bear. Where can I find a live one? Uh, you like animals? I absolutely adore them. Well, yeah, Have she's got that little yet? pecker running oh, around that I want to no. smash with an adventuring they coin. They must be out playing somewhere. Hmm, come to think of it, this little guy is on display here probably means it's already extinct. Right? Hmm, probably. So, Miss Topaz, what exactly will it take for the IPC to go easier on Bellabog? Branya invested so much just to make this world a little better. And now, it feels like all of her efforts will be undone in the blink of an eye. It's just so cruel. Yeah, that's not very nice. <laughs> what do you take the IPC for, Miss March? We're just the same as Bellabog's architects. We're all followers of the preservation. No matter what mm, solutions we propose, we will always take the welfare of the people of Bellabog into consideration. Otherwise, we'd be no different from the Legion, would we? I so guess you're that's true. There's nothing to worry about? But Branya. Don't worry yourself too much. The Supreme Guardian is a wise person. She'll understand. But mm. to answer your question directly, whatever that means, it'd take a miracle. I'll complete the Arillo 6 project no matter what obstacles I encounter. Oh, this isn't going as planned. What should we do? I wouldn't mm. waste too much energy on this matter. Why not make the most of the festive atmosphere? Oh, looks like one of my colleagues is after me. My apologies, but I should probably take this. Bye. That's a hell of a phone case, though. I like that phone. Well, we didn't accomplish so, shit. What now? We spent ages trying to convince her and she didn't move an inch. Well, no, she moved a few feet because she was walking around. We didn't promise Branya we'd succeed. She sort of made sense. We should keep pestering her. Are you sure? <laughs> I really don't think Yeah, let's keep pestering her. Topaz, Topaz, uh, stop it. Topaz is just doing Stop it, job. Topaz, stop it. And as far as the <laughs> express is concerned, I think it would be unwise to make the IPC our enemy. All these vested interests. It's so hard I to wanna go past her. It. They don't teach this stuff in school. Wait, did I even go to school? Oh my god, you dumbass. Shut up. Uh yes, actually, someone did send me a message. Who are you? Zila. Uh, I heard you're back in Bellabog. Give me a shout when you have a minute, it's urgent. What's up? What's going on? Bunch of rascals came down to the underworld and took over the great mine by force. I asked Branya what to do, and she told me not to mess with them for the time being. 
Uh, we must fight back. We can't let those guys... Uh, yeah. Y yeah, we are already on it. Wildfire and Silvermane guards already engaged with them, but those jerks have super advanced fancy weapons and jacked up damage. We can't handle them. I'm sending you an SOS because I'm running out of ideas. I'm coming. Alright, alright. We're about to go kick some IPC ass! The IPC are causing trouble in the underworld? Already? Yep, oh, looks like seriously. it. Seriously, Topaz was just talking about taking the welfare of the people of Bellabog into consideration. Yeah, it's called a lie. Now they're pulling this stunt. She lied. Trusties, money. She hungry. lied to your ass. For a minute. Never, never trust a debt collector. Let's go save the day. Here we go again. That's right. You can't believe a word they say. I really did jinx us. I don't think I have it in me to play the hero today. Well, fine, I'll my do it myself. I'll, I'll, I'll go and do it my goddamn Let's go self. Lend them a hand. Since, since you don't, since you don't want to help, you want everyone down there in the mines to just die. <laughs> Get some rest while you can, and gather your strength. God damn it! Uh, when do we go home? Zila. Zila, don't worry. Hey, I'm gonna kick their ass. I'm glad to see you two here. I'm, not I'm sure glad to see you too. Uh, is anyone hurt? Nobody's been seriously hurt, but a few wildfire members got minor injuries. Mm. Fortunately for us, it seems like they're well, holding back. Well, let's go kick their ass then. Their weapons and automatons are much stronger than anything we have. You see those two in black? They've been guarding the mine entrance. They're not letting anyone in or out. Hey, just because you have fancy equipment doesn't mean you can bully us. Who do you think you are? Yeah, that's just rude. What's the matter? Got nothing to say? What's going on inside the mine? Any ideas? I could just fast teleport there and I could figure the that out quickly. Made it out earlier. They look pretty panicked. They said the whole mine had been seized by the people in black. Oh shit. These uninvited guests. That's not cool. That's not cool on multiple levels. All I know is that they're seriously disrupting the lives of the underworlders. Uh, is Topaz around? Uh, who? <laughs> she doesn't we know who Topaz just is. just talking to her in the museum. Do you think her cronies are acting without her authorization? Uh, I think she lied. I think she lied. Are they in charge of the people in black? Potaz Pazto, whatever her name is, she can wait. <laughs> Potaz Pazto. Right now, the most important <laughs> thing is to free those trapped in the great mine. <clears throat> are you two with me? Yes. Yes. Let's confront them. Hey, you two. Cat got your tongue or something? If you knew what was best for you, you'd get out of my way. Yeah, move. You guys mm. must be exhausted standing here all day. How about you take a little lunch break? I'm sure the IPC allows that, right? No breaks. All gas, no breaks. I'm guest of your boss. Stand aside. Uh, what's their deal? You two were talking to the director in the snow plains. Yes. So it's you. You're the one who was threatening to take us out in the snow plains. Uh, do you even know who you're talking to? If your boss knows to treat us with respect, you'd better start showing some yourself. Damn, March shit. I can't let you pass. My team leader said that if anyone gets through, I'll lose six months of performance bonuses. Oh my god, it's all about money with you! <laughs> You're even lower on the pecking order than I thought. Damn! March is Shut getting up. him. I spent seven That's years crazy. on forsaken asteroid <laughs> preparing to join the IPC. I went through 17 interviews before they finally hired me. What right do you deadbeats have to criticize me? Because you're a piece of shit. Let the miners out. IPC? Interviews? I don't know what you're rambling on about, but you're really testing my patience. Oh, well, let's kick their ass. No need to waste our breath on this idiot. Let's do this. Well, Jake and Marge aren't going to be doing anything. It's going to be everybody else. Ow. Ow, stop. To travel far... 
What a piece of shit. Yeah, smack him around a little bit. Harmony and unison. Uh, hey, da. Ow. 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 It's on me. All right. Uh, hey, da. May song bring us victory. Ooh. 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 Took his shield down a lot. I hit the mark. Spend freely. Shit, shit, out! The dice have been cast. Bus. Oh, yeah, space. Or I was trying to I'll press Q and E. <laughs> Watch your head. Time to twirl. Do you know who I did big diamond? It's all yours. And what's why? Oh, <laughs> they're dead. <laughs> that was quick. Hell yeah! Kick their ass! Kick their mother flipping That's ass! It? He sure took off quickly. Yeah, because he's a pussy! Uh, pussy boy! Pussy boy! Pussy! The best people they can find? <laughs> what a joke. Oh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I've been warned that the ones in the mine... Alright, so alright. Let, let, let's go in the mine. I want to go in the mine. I want to go in the mine. Ready for action? Yep, yep, let's, let's go. Let's get moving. Uh, oh. Recommended team level 50? Oh, shit. Oh my god. Oh, well, I am gonna. Yep, I'm gonna get a traveler's guide. I'm gonna get 40,000 credits. I'm gonna get four lost crystals. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Herta, I, I need. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Can, can, I, can I upgrade Herta yet? Um, um, ascend? Shit, I still need stuff for her. Ah, auto add. Yes. Sweet. Horn of snow. Was that all I needed of that? Yes. And I need one of these. Uh, material synthesis. Yes. Yeah. Herda, I can finally level you up. You call that a build update? Oh, shut up. I'm trying, okay? Sweet. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, light cone. Enhance. Uh, ascend. I, I don't have enough stuff in the inventory. One key of knowledge. Well, that didn't do shit for me. Oh, superimposed. No items to auto add. Oh shit. Okay, all right. We're 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 just gonna stick with that for now. We're gonna stick with that for now. At Ready least I got action. her. Uh, Let's. Get uh, at least I got her up upgraded a little bit. So now all of us are at fifty. There we go. Everyone's at fifty. Everybody's good. Oh, what's up, Sfarag and Clara? Hello, it's Mr. Sfarag, isn't it? Oh, and this uh oh. Cute little girl must be Clara. Uh, hello, Miss. Are you? I'm Topaz. I've come to have a chat with Mr. Sfarag. Clara, go inside and wait for me. Huh? But if you have a guest, maybe I should. No, just she get inside. She's not a guest. Neither is she a friend. Uh oh. Go, Clara. Everything will be fine. So, it seems my source was right. Who would have thought that such a strong bond could exist between a giant robot and a little girl? <sighs> so heartwarming. You bear the insignia of the Interastral Peace Corporation. What is your motive for coming here? Uh-oh. <laughs> Straight to the point, huh? I like your style. Urillo 6. Are robots familiar with that term? Anyway, it refers to the planet we're currently standing on. It's about to become the property of the IPC. No one can reverse this outcome. Not you, not the nameless, nor any power in the galaxy. I only uh -oh. care about one thing right now. Demonstrating to the shareholders of the IPC that Urillo 6 can generate value. 
In the okay. long run, this is a way, the only way, to ensure Bellabog's long-term interests. I need your help to achieve this goal. Long-term interests undefined. Analyzing objectives. Analysis failed. Tell me, Emissary, how do you plan to convince the IPC leadership? That's simple. I'll show you. This Wait, is... what? What is that? Source code. Or, to be more precise, source code that is able to take control of all mechanized units in Bellabog. I'm oh. sure you're familiar with this. All mechanized units manufactured in Bellabog over the last 700 years utilize the underlying systems created by the IPC. The code is so refined. So she's going to take over all the robots? Never saw any Holy shit. It. Uh I assume you're also aware that there was once a large automaton factory in the underworld. Thousands upon thousands I'm aware of, of automatons, it now. enough to crush the Legion's vanguard, lay dormant within. Oh, this shit. is my bargaining chip for negotiating with the higher ups. I'll convince them that your real 06 has a place in the company's long term strategies. But first, she's got the wire in her ear. I didn't realize show that. Show me where these automatons are buried. I understand. Your long-term interests can be defined as the survival of civilization at a macro level. What are your intentions for the people currently living here? Their future has already been purchased. All I can do is mm -hmm. make them accept this fact, using a relatively peaceful approach. What? I understand. You can't just purchase people, what that's illegal! Do with your plan. Oh. So, you're not as stubborn as the rumors suggest. The future you speak of is beyond my computational range. But my emotional analysis indicates that you are indeed trying to find ways to ensure the survival of this world. Additionally, calculations indicate a 96.4% probability of compliance through force if I refuse to cooperate. <laughs> Your calculations are slightly on the conservative side. Here's mm -hmm. to our future cooperation. If you wouldn't mind leading the way, Mr. Sparog. Hmm. So she got this Sparog and said, Hey, tell me where all the robots are so that way I can uh, tell the IPC that uh, this is a place to do things with. Kind of messed up. Hey, there's, a, the there's a little here thing. Huddled together. Anyone else getting deja vu? <laughs> yeah, from the last well, time we were here. The situation here is pretty similar to when you first arrived. It's just that instead of a few thugs and broken robots, now we're dealing with much more formidable adversaries. Yeah, they're definitely formidable. Hey, check it out! Isn't that Topaz's little trotter over hey, there? Hey, Numby, come over here. Oh, I want to shove a again? coin in your ass. What? Isn't that thing a fragmentum monster? She's keeping one as a pet? It but looks the like IPC it, yeah. They are all about their sci fi sorcery, so it's not that surprising. Want to go take a look? Yes, I, I want to. I want to go see Numby! Numby! What you doing, Numby? Oink. Sounds like you two are getting along. <laughs> What's Numby saying? I have no idea. Topaz isn't here. Life is ultimately meaningless. Not sure. Strong accent. <laughs> Uh, Topaz isn't Seriously? here. Seriously? You actually speak Trotter? No. Look, you guys. Looks like it wants to leave. Oh, looks like they want to find their master. Let's follow them. Okay, well then let's go. Help! Those people dressed in black are attacking us! Not for long, they aren't. Uh, E. Begin. E. Feeling e. lucky. Hey, I'm. T no, I really yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Let, let's get them. Let's get them. Stupid robots. Stupid robot bitches. Oh. Sure, I'll play along. Oh, they got these two dudes. Uh oh. It's on me. 
That's definitely not good. They, they, they can, they're controlling the robots. Wahoo! is feeling much better. Alright, time to sing. Time to sing. I don't know why I did that. Oh, no, no more. Yeah, damn it, boost. Spend freely. Defense. The dice have been bust. Bust. Or maybe I'll take. Or maybe I'll take it all. No, you didn't take it all. You almost had it all. But you didn't. Ow! Don't be a bitch. Right. As if victory were ever in doubt. Let's go, Trotter. <laughs> Numby, hurry up! Uh -huh. You're slow. <laughs> Looks like Numby's in a good mood. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> Just snap, hit him with a coin. It's always funny. It's on me. Alright. I hope for an end to strife in the world. Oh, to travel. Right, no. That's what I was meaning to do. My throat is feeling much harmony and unison. My throat is feeling Earth much better now. <laughs> That's nasty. Watch your head. Blah, blah, blah. Sure, I'll play along. Spend freely. Give me the defense. The bust. Best. Or maybe I'll, or maybe take, I'll it. take it somewhat. May song bring us victory. Uh, single target. Perfect, Robin. That was a hell of a hit right there. Do you know who I big diamond? It's all yours! Oh but Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna save the Robin song for the next battle. Oh come on, come on, we almost had him! Wait, was that all? Ah! <laughs> there was one right next to me. <laughs> sure. I'll oh along. shit! All right. Stars echo. Welcome to my world. The dice have been bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Oh god, damn! Time to <laughs> Dude, I love it. I think it's hilarious. Just kicking some ass. While Robin's singing in the background, giving us a concert. This is my fight song. I am so white song. Uh oh. What what happened to this dude? That big guy down there. Is he the one in charge? I, I thought he was one of the robots. We'll see who I thought he was one of the robots that was down here before. Where'd Numby go? He wow. took off on us. There's something so short and stubby. You're surprisingly nimble. Yeah, he's a little well, bitch boy. Yes, that's that. We're on our own now. Let's keep going. Oh, I thought I could hit him with the coin. <laughs> hey, you! Are you in charge around here? Ah, a local. The IPC is currently conducting acid evaluation work here. Local residents are advised to follow those responsible for evacuation to the. Mm. Don't lie to us. You seized to the, the, the by force for yourself. <laughs> you drove the locals out of their homes. I'm warning you. Get lost or suffer the consequences. Damn. Don't you dare show your face around here again. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I won't. And who might you be? You have quite the attitude. This is our jurisdiction now. We are all powerful here. Uh, that's what you think. Uh, Tobaz just lets you do whatever you want. You know Tobaz? Interesting. 
Yeah, I fucked her last night. That's how. The strategic investment department has no obligation to talk to anyone not related to this project. Oh. Well, that sucks because I want to talk to someone who's related to this project. The IPC reserves the right to skip negotiations and take over all assets. We're simply following the rules. What exactly is your problem? You know, Let's just kick their asses. How the rules always seem to work in your By the way, when, when did Marge change out of her dress? She was wearing a dress red, earlier. And now you're here to pull the plug on it. <laughs> Don't blame me. I'm simply following orders. Do you think I get to make those kinds of decisions? Mm, apparently breath, not, March. because you're a bitch, bitch robot. Bitch boy! Bitch boy robot! Didn't you claim the IPC was all powerful? <laughs> well, now is the perfect chance to show us what you can do. Uh, hey, hey, don't uh, volunteer me for a fight. What the hell? Oh shit. Uh, well, now now Zila just fucked us up. Oh god, now we're gonna die. Do you know who I this big diamond? It's all yours! Uh, bah! Robin, I need you to get the singing voice ready to go. <laughs> Trust me. This is a guaranteed win. Robin, get ready to sing. I'm, I'm gonna need you. Ow. Spend freely. Come the dice have been bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Watch your head. You took a good portion of it, but not all of it. Ah, uh, shit. Not yet. Honored to meet me. Right. Big, diamond. big diamond is all yours! Get him! Ha! Ow! I hit the mark. Nice. It's on me. Uh, yes! Sing! 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 Uh, the dice have been cast. Bust. Come on, come on. Or maybe hit him, hit him, hit him! Ah, he's back! No, he brought back his friends. Shit! Head your bets. Spend freely. Ow! Ow! No, not my rabbit! Ow! Stop it! Here, try this! Do you know who I this big diamond? It's all yours! Time to twirl! Ooh, almost got him! Oh, he's almost dead! He's almost dead! It's on me! Defend! Yep, yep. Thank you. My throat is feeling much better. Yeah, your throat is feeling much better, isn't it? Abadeha! He kicked his ass! Mmm! Get out of here! Who are you people? Not even our tech could take you down. That's right. We are the Astral we Express. The Doomsday Beast, the Stellaron, and Fantilia. Did you really think you could stop us? Yeah. yeah bitch boy. I'm all out of ammo. Sir, we've just received word from the director. Uh, director Topaz? What did she say? What other director is there? That's the only so one we've been talking about. Disrupt the lives of local inhabitants during the asset evaluation period. 
Teams that violate this directive will have their year in bonuses reduced by 60 Oh my god, it's all about the bonuses. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> so, are we all good here? Or what? What a bitch boy. Yeah. Judging by the looks on their faces, I don't think they'll be back. I don't think so either. So, they were terrified they were going to lose their bonus. Anyway? She seems to have no problem ordering these idiots around. Or taming fragmentum creatures, for that matter. Uh, it's a long story. Oh, you can tell it. I'll, I'm going to take a nap. You're better off asking Bronya. <sighs> Why did this mess have to happen so close to the festivities? The timing couldn't have been any worse. Because they don't care if it's in the oh, middle of festivities like or not. They say, we want our shit. And so they come and get their shit. It doesn't matter. Where are you, March and Jake? Are you all right? Yeah, we're fine. We're in the underworld. IPC's people. I've, I failed to persuade. No worries. That wasn't your responsibility in the first place. Something just happened here, and I can't explain it clearly. Messages. Could you come back to Claypoth Fort? I need advice from you two on this issue. Huh. I get the feeling Branya's worried about something. We'd better go back and see her. Zila, you would you like to... Us, Zila? Come with us. Go on without me. I still have stuff to take care of. The miners need to know what happened here. Branya messaged you, which means she thinks you can help. I trust her judgment. Got it, Zila. We'll do what we can to help Branya out. We'll Come tell on, your girlfriend you said hey. Board. I know they like each other. Challenge completed! <laughs> Meanwhile in Rivet Town. Oh These shit. Don't look like Zila. <laughs> By order of uh -oh. the Supreme Guardian, proceed no further. Miss Topaz. <sighs> Bellavog might be in arrears, but I'm out of pocket. See you later, Captain. Well, that just sucks. She just brought all the robots against them. That sucks. Welcome back. I appreciate your help more than I can express. It couldn't have been easy running all over the city. Oh, uh, you know, it's fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna charge you by the mile, though. You don't sound like yourself. Is something wrong? Uh, I'm fine. I just... I haven't rested in a while. There's just too much happening all at once. Uh, you couldn't have foreseen all of this. Not your fault. Perhaps, but the IPC won't wait for me to catch up. They're moving quickly. Bellabog is crawling with their agents. All they talk about is asset evaluation. The silver lining is that apart from the mine incident you mentioned, there haven't been any major conflicts in other areas. I suppose Topaz must have issued an Come order. Come on, we gotta to figure out citizenry. something. I like no, Bellabog. Bellabog's a nice place. Don't let the bank take it. People are confused. They don't know where these strangers in black came from, nor what their intentions are. The IPC. And they want your shit. That's what it is. Did you manage to get in touch with Topaz again? We're curious to know what solution she has in mind. There is no That's solution. That's the reason I asked for you to come here. I need your advice. Look. The hell is that? Uh, it's the terms contract and conditions. Topaz sent to me a little while ago. There's a handwritten letter attached. Okay. Please take a look at the contents, and then tell me your thoughts. All right. Yeah. Let's look at the contents. Miss Branya, if you'll permit me to call you that, I'd like to share a story with you from my own life. In your eyes. The IPC may seem heartless or cruel, but in reality, 
We all have a story to tell. I need a thumbnail. As for myself, I was born on a small, unremarkable planet at the edge of the galaxy. A place whose name is known only to the native inhabitants. My home uh, why don't you just say it? extremely resource poor. To survive, people worked laboriously, manufacturing products for other civilizations in the galaxy, mostly in chemical or heavy industries. Given oh, these boo circumstances, oh, boo the natural environment of my home planet became increasingly harsh. Naturally. I don't recall the exact moment when it happened, but people started wearing respirators just to walk down the street. That's All messed you could hear up, the dog. Of the people, day and night. My home was facing its demise. The relatively wealthy chose interstellar migration and started anew. The majority who stayed could only struggle on amidst sewage, acid rain, and dust, waiting for the end. I feel like this is all bullshit. <laughs> Maybe she's right telling the truth. I don't know. They had the technology to repair our planet's damaged environment. In return for their help, they asked for just one thing. That all inhabitants sign a contract, which would make them employees of the IPC. Two Why would you want to do that? After signing the contract, the dark clouds and haze disappeared. And people began to take off their masks. After three years, I feel like this vegetation is and you, trees you're began your to soul. grow and thrive again. After five years, many animals, previously on the brink of extinction, reappeared. When I was finally old enough, I officially became a member of the Strategic Investment Department. I witnessed the changes that took place uh, the on Sid. my home world and was determined to bring the same changes to many other worlds in the galaxy that were experiencing the same plight. Well, how I humble of you. you. That's so humble. Tanya, with the genuine desire to express something important. I know freedom is precious to people, but in reality, there are things of much greater value. That's sold at Walmart. How many generations of Bellabogians will it take to embrace the stars again without assistance? Who can guarantee that every future guardian will be as prudent and enlightened as you? How can you guarantee that a disaster They're just trying to bully you because they want to be bitches, that's all. Again? I have already negotiated the best possible deal for you. Once you sign this contract, all of Bellabog's debts will be forgiven. In addition, the IPC will set up a special team to support the reconstruction of Urillo 6. I can I just want Bellabog. That That's you, all. I don't care about Urillo 6. Just Bellabog is fine the way it is. You and you alone will bear the fate of all Bellabogians. But because of this, I believe that you will make the right decision. A decision that will truly benefit your people. I yeah, I feel like, like if you sincere. sign this. Mm, what do you make of it? Uh, it's hard to say. Uh, she has a way with words. She's a smooth talker, but that doesn't mean she's telling the truth. Yeah. She just wants her to sign so that way they can take this place. I know it. But I know it. I know it. It's an honest letter. I found the contents. Quite moving. It's hard to imagine she'd write something like this just to deceive me. They just want your in place. Case, That's all it is. She wasn't wrong when she said this would be an extremely difficult decision. Yeah. This planet's fate. The civilization. It's bullshit. She's lying to you. Everything She's lying. And everything that will happen, it all rests in my hands. Yep. This and she's gonna make you feel guilty about it until she gets what she wants. Be a decision made by me alone. Um, I trust your judgment more than anyone else's. Fuck everybody! It's their lives, but it's your land. Shut up. Perhaps you should gain some insight from others first. That thought has crossed my mind. It comforts me to hear you say that. Oh God, she's gonna send me to do it. Right. She's gonna send me to do it. I don't think it's fair for you to carry the weight alone. Why not discuss it with others first? 
Topaz hasn't given me much time to consider. She wants me to decide as soon as possible. I wanted to put it to a vote, and let all the citizens of both the Overworld and the Underworld have their say. But with such little time, I'm afraid that's a lost cause. I'll Unless we can get them here real quick, fast travel. To discuss the contract. As for the locals, I'd like you to gauge their stance on the matter. I knew it! She was going to send me to do it! The people of Bellabog hold both of you in high regard. Oh my god. Most certainly be willing now you're just to tell buttering you me thoughts. up. Now you're just buttering me up. Like, I know I'm going to make you do all this work, but it's okay. It's time to race against the clock. Do I have voting rights? I think we should leave this matter to the Bellabogians. I want to vote. Agree? No, I want to vote. We've got your back. I want to vote. We failed to convince Topaz. Why can't I vote? This should Isn't be a piece cool? of I want to vote. Thank you, March. I'll assemble the ministers. Let's meet up here again later. All right. All right. Let's go talk to people uh, then. If we want to make an informed decision, we need to hear. If we want to make an informed decision, yada 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 yada. Shut up. Let's go talk to Bella Bargain. Bella Bargain. Uh, agreeing or disagreeing? Pela, what do you think about this? You think this is bullshit? We meet again. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, IPC dead. Really? I... we don't... wait... Okay. Do you agree? If it were up... huh, I've looked at... and that's assuming... If the I building a bed... I see... Thanks for... I, I, I know I skipped their whole dialogue. Oh, she agrees! Okay. I'm just trying to get an agreeance or a disagreeance. I don't want to listen to their whole explanation. I just want to know if they agree or not. What's going on up here? Oh, I need to... Claim all... Yes, adventure log. Adventure log. Cool. I'm about to level back up again. What's up, Serval? Look who we have here. Uh oh. Yep, yep. You tell Serval about the debt. Serval, do you agree or disagree? What? How is that? Uh, it's okay. Uh, no, no, I, I, I don't want to hear your explanation. Just tell me if you agree or not. Yes or no. Oh, that's two agrees. Okay, so that's two. I just need one more. <laughs> Look, looks like Bella Bog is uh, screwed. Uh, well, where else do I go for an opinion? Oh, I know where I need to go for an opinion. What up, Dunn? Is that the Trailblazers? It's been a while. I didn't think you'd be back. It's been pretty hectic. We need do your you need opinion. opinion. Yep. Dunn, what do you think? Do you agree or disagree? I bet he disagrees. That would be hilarious. So that's who they are. The Madam God. We are here. Why I'd refuse. Just look at them. Faced with this, you must warn them. A soldier. Thanks for your input. Was that three yeses? Did we miss anyone in the overworld? I think from what I've gathered... Uh, we need to go ask Zila. <sighs> We'd better hurry to... Oh yeah, and Natasha. Oh! He disagreed! He disagreed! Oh my god, Dunn disagreed with it! Oh my god! That's hilarious. Come on. Let, let, let's go talk to these two. <laughs> see what they think. You Natasha! What brings you two to the underworld? And why the long face? Uh, we need your Seems opinion. All right, what do you think? What do you think? I swear to God, if we get more agrees than disagrees, Branya is gonna get so upset. <sighs> I've thought about it. I won't deny even living in the under. Wow, another vote. For oh, against it! All right, Zila. Oh wait, no. This is Oleg. All right. I can. Let me get. Well. Oh my God! Tell everybody about this agreement. Do you agree or disagree? Yes or no? 
That's the truth. Mister. Want to hear the truth? If this, have you considered what worries me? Mm, Branya, the last supreme guardian. Huh. Thank you for your thoughts. Oh, he agreed. Okay. Zila? Where are you? I heard that thing. Where are you, shithead? Oh, robot settlement. Alright, Zila. You're the last remaining piece of the puzzle. What the hell? Why are you why are you sitting up there? Don't sit up there. Oh no, Clara! Clara is who I need to talk to. I thought I was going to talk to Zeela. Big brother, what brings you to the underworld? Hey there, Clara. Mr. Sparrow went out for what? Topaz. Oh. Do you know where they? Went? I forgot. Yeah, they did go on a walk. Uh, I'm not sure, but Mr. Sparrow promised he'd be back soon. Uh, what now? Sparrow's super logical. We should definitely get his opinion. Uh, at least Clara's True. here. Don Hung's always saying that Clara's really insightful for her age. Yeah, she seems insightful. Uh -huh. What do you think? Miss March, do you want to ask me something? Yeah, Clara, what do you think about this? Do you think this is bullshit, yes or no? Give me a good answer. Hmm. I don't think you're even old uh, enough to vote, but the hell with it. That's complicated. I don't know what to say. It's all right, Clara. No pressure. Just tell us how you feel about it. Hmm. <sighs> I... I think if we have a choice for the future, it should be everyone's decision. Because... When I was playing with Hook, the moles, and the other kids, we talked about our dreams. Everyone has different dreams. If we accept Miss Topaz's offer, then doesn't that mean our dreams will never come true? Just taking away people's dreams like that. I don't so know. So she disagrees. It feels wrong. She disagrees. You're it's 3-3 three, right. three split. Children see the world as a place where anything is possible. Oh, just the thought of our lives being predestined from birth makes me shiver. Thanks, Clara. Your thoughts mean a lot to us. Yeah, they sure do. Your thoughts mean a lot. Where's Sela? After collecting more citizens' opinions, the final result remains a tie. Oh shit! <sighs> All right, Sela. All that running around has worn me out. So the final conclusion is the votes are completely even. Uh, I don't know what to do. Both sides have really compelling arguments. Where's Sela? There's still one person left to ask. Oh, right. We haven't asked Zila. She's probably still in the great mine helping the mine. Yeah, let, let's let's go take a look. Uh, great mine. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna just run up to the entrance. I'm gonna fast transport that shit. Wait, was there a chest or something over here? Oh. <laughs> Hiya. I'm gonna be adventuring for a bit. <laughs> I know you were right there, Sila, but I, I want to run around you. <laughs> All right, sorry. Back so soon? Any news? Yeah. Are you feeling all right? You look a little uneasy. I am. We need your opinion. I can tell from your tone that this isn't gonna be a lighthearted. Okay. Yes or no? It's all up to you, Sila. <sighs> I, I think I get it. At first, I thought it was just a few IPC ruffians overstepping their boundaries. You thought wrong. Yeah, you didn't think the future of Bellabog was at stake, right? Right. I, I need a little time to process this. As it stands, well, how, how much is a little time? Even. Like one or two minutes? Your opinion will make all the difference. <sighs> no, way to put the pressure on her, March. In that case, I I abstain. What? You have to shoulder this responsibility. That that's pretty jaded. 
Your vote is extremely important. It's important. I thought about it. This responsibility rests on Branya's shoulders, not mine. No matter the choice she makes, she has far greater foresight than I do. She can see the bigger picture more clearly than I can. Yeah, but your vote still matters. Like everybody's the vote, vote matters. Time. If I were to give you my view, it would tip the scales and possibly impact her final choice. See, you shouldn't have told her that I'll she was the last vote. Whatever decision she makes, but it's not my place to make it. Yeah, work. you should have just not told her. Understood. You should have just told her, "Hey, we need your this vote real quick. Listen to this." To make, and everyone feels differently about it. It's times like these that a leader must stand up and do what's needed. Mm-hmm. That right. is true. It's Branya's decision. She knows what's at stake. She won't run away from her duty. Not duty. <laughs> Diarrhea. <laughs> if she asks you, just let her know my reasoning. She'll understand. Well, all right. It's all well, Branya's hands now. it is all in Branya's hands make now. The final call. Yep, she's got to do it. She plays a crucial role on this world. Do you trust her judgment? You bet. The Express can vouch for Branya. That says a lot about her character. Uh, well, the then. Time has come. It's time. Let's go fill her it's in. definitely time. It's time, mother flipper. Those Klopoth ministers. It's time. It's time. All right, Klopoth Fort. Yes, I want to be in the area so that way I could go to the area. Stupid thing. Stu stupid time. poopy ass. Stupid poopy ass. Wah, 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 wah. Can, can I just walk up there to it? No, I I got to I, I, I got to actually go up to the line. I just wanted to walk up the steps and just go to it myself. Whoa, the fort's packed. I've never oh. seen this oh many my people God. here before. Uh, people are pissed. Jeez, I can barely even hear myself think. Wait, collect. I don't know what I collected. Densely packed schedule. Guardian's desk. Okay. Investigate. The wide desk before you belongs to the majestic ruler of this planet. Oh, okay. I don't care. I am chaos in incarnate. Let's see what's in here. Okay, all right. I don't know what it is that I'm winning, but I'm winning something. And stare, wait, you lift your head and stare straight into Bronnie's eyes. This is bad. She must have found out you were snooping around here ages ago, but didn't stop you because she cared. No wonder you always feel as though a burning gaze is fixed upon you. I'll turn a blind eye, but I hope that won't do this next time. Uh, but what? Punish me, Lady Bronnie? <laughs> <laughs> no need to make it weird. <laughs> I don't even know what happened because I was skipping through all of it. After all, you're not the only one trying to rummage through the Supreme Guardian's desk. If it were anyone else, they'd be apprehended by the Silverman guards by now. But I got nothing. What a lousy bargain. Nah, I didn't expect to hear that. Oh, shit. Oh, she's upset now. That's right. It's good that you're here. I've got something for you. This is the recipe for high-tech protective gear, rumored. Okay. Cool. March, that was awkward. <laughs> so, what's the verdict? What do the people think? We talked to people in both the overworld and the underworld. The final result was a tie. I see. I suppose everyone has their own way of seeing Well, give things. it a try then. I can't say I'm Is surprised. that what they want? Give it a try. What was Zeal's give it a go, and if on the matter? Everything's screwed up, then it's their fault. Uh, she's behind you, whatever you decide. She thought it wasn't her place to say. I should have known. That sounds like Zila, all right. It sure does. Did you it come sounded to like a Zila conclusion to me. with the ministers? Oh, it's so loud, I can't tell what anyone's saying. Yeah, I can't tell either. It's pretty much the same it's situation so here. Noisy. Neither party is willing to compromise. The time has come to make a decision. This chaos cannot be allowed to continue any longer. 
But it's going to continue, whether you like it or not. Ah! No, oh, I had, I had a good thumbnail. Wait. Oh. I have something to say to the Supreme Guardian. Aren't you? Uh. uh Himeko? Wait, is that the real you or a hologram? I'm gonna touch her titty to see if she's real. <laughs> it's the real me, March. Real as they come. Miss Himeko, from the Astral Express? I. It's an honor. <laughs> Thank it's you for an all your honor. Help previous campaign. Things might have turned out differently without your support. If we had known of your arrival beforehand, the architects would have given you a proper welcome. I'm afraid the current circumstances are quite exceptional. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. I understand, Miss Rania. No need to explain. Your city is facing immense difficulties. My intention is simply to ensure that you have all the relevant intel. Are we just going to pay for it? Let's just get rid of the debt. Do you have a solution, Himiko? Uh, couldn't you have come a bit sooner? I yeah, where were you? A solution, but I might have some information that might help. Okay, what is it? I want to know. It is my hope that with this information, you will be better equipped as the Supreme Guardian to make a wise and informed decision. All right, say it. Say your information. Information? Say it. what it is. Please, tell me what you know, What is Himiko. it? Tell us. I happen to have a friend with knowledge of Topaz. What Topaz said about her home world is indeed true, which is why mm. she believes that the IPC's takeover of Bellabog is the only way of ensuring the city's survival. But there is one thing she intentionally left out. Not all worlds that have accepted the IPC's terms have been saved. Hmm. That's crazy. You mean performing ecological reconstruction on a planet carries inevitable risks. According to the intel provided by my friend, the success rate for the ecological reconstruction of worlds using the IPC's mm. technology is 63%. Only 63% of planets succeed? That's not exactly comforting. This yeah. is the overall average across all IPC projects. The success rate of projects personally handled by Topaz is above 80%. She's undoubtedly one of the most capable people in her field. Okay. I wanted to bring these numbers, these probabilities to life. <laughs> so what are you going to do now? <laughs> you know all the 63%. Do you really want to sign that contract? Ultimately, do you really want to sign it? It's up to you, Supreme Guardian, to make the final call. Yeah, Supreme Guardian, what are you gonna do? I understand. You gonna Thank frick you, over Mr. all of your people? Or what are you gonna do? This information is of great help. I'm so glad. Regardless of how alluring their promises may be, this contract is nothing more than a gamble. As a leader, I cannot let the future of Bellabog hinge on a roll of the dice. Now that you've decided, I don't have to pretend to be impartial anymore. I think you're mm. making the right choice, Branya. Astro friends, I have an idea, but nice. for it to work, <laughs> I'll need everyone's cooperation. I need some time to rally all the residents in the city, and then I'll meet with Tobe has again. I gotta rally the. Please again. locate her for me. Ah! It doesn't matter where she is or what she's doing. And if the IPC is still trying to take over Bellabog's assets, I ask that you do everything in your power to stop them. Don't worry. Leave it to us. We'll find her. It won't be easy dealing with her, but these two will help me get the job done. Bellabog's future is not for sale. And we'll never forget the friends who stood by us in our time of need. Yeah! Not once, but yeah. twice. Ah! 
Stay safe, everyone. For Bellabar! Ah! Alright, let's go get her. Let's go find Topaz. New message. New message. New message. Right, we could talk here, Gapard, and share your reports with the crew. Uh, did you have a fight? Oh, yeah, he did. He did have a fight. The Supreme Guardian ordered me to garrison in Rivet Town with Silvermane Guards and an Automaton to stop the IPC. The defense went smoothly at first, but then Topaz herself appeared with some special technology, allowed her to seize control of our automatons in an instant. It seems Topaz is heading for a certain area in the depths of the river, Rivet Town. For some reason, Sfarag is with her too. Sfarag, is he trying to go against us again? Hope my, my instinct tells me that there's something else behind this, but I don't know for sure yet. At least we know where we can find Topaz. Let's go. Should be with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go find them. Let's go kick their asses! Fast travel is amazing. I oh, love being able time. to fast travel. Why not make the most of it with the game? What up, Jepard? Gepard, whatever your name Guardian is. has briefed me on the situation and asked that I assist you in locating Topaz. Ready no, to you're not on my town? team. We'll go into Ready. Keep your guards up. Ooh, another challenge. Okay. Mm, yeah, the team looks good. Team looks good. We've been kicking some ass already. Team looks great. Team looks awesome! Destination reached. Wow. Would you look at that? Huh. I never would have guessed it'd be here. But I don't see any mech or weapons. This place is completely I don't know if I've been here surrounded yet. by mountains. Surely they, they can't be. Affirmative. The weapons are concealed within the towering rock formations. Ooh. No wonder we crazy. couldn't find the automaton factory. It was right under our noses all along. Yep, right there. Yeah. Right where you could smell all the shit. You said these weapons have been hidden here from the very beginning? That means... The architects of Urillo 6 never used them in their fight against the Legion. Correct. After the IPC departed from this world more than 700 years ago, no one has possessed the necessary knowledge for activating these weapons. The architects used the IPC mm. blueprints to construct replica automatons. So However, you just told her that nobody knows how to use the these unless you do. Commanded by Elisa Rand. We're human. I see. The stories about this world are truly captivating. I would like to ask you a question, Topaz. <laughs> You're awful polite for a big robot. Ask. Don't be shy. If the IPC does not intervene, this world is doomed. Are you convinced of this conclusion beyond any doubt? <sighs> Yes. I've gone uh, through countless mm, case studies. Yes. <laughs> they all point to the same conclusion. Any world that comes into contact with a Stellaron is doomed. I don't think that's correct. On the surface, things may appear to be getting better since the Astral Express lent a helping hand. But sooner or later, the underlying problems will resurface. And it's of you. The You're the problem. The crisis can often lie hidden beneath the illusion of prosperity. Unnoticed by many. Understood. Well, I can always kick Understood. their ass again. It's no big deal. That's it? You don't have any thoughts on the matter? He, he can't compute this. indicate that your response is sincere and accurate. That is all I wish to confirm regarding this matter. While my opinion on the future of this planet may differ from yours, mm -hmm. it ultimately holds no weight. I am merely a tool, not a decision maker. Mm, damn. <laughs> God damn, Spar, I'm sure. the same self awareness as you. Come on, Numby. We've got some assessing to do. Let's go do the assessment. That way we can get our car tagged. I mean, that way we can uh, take a look at Topaz these weapons. Topaz disappeared after leaving Rivet Town. In her absence, her subordinates flooded in and took over. The IPC soldiers are well equipped. It wouldn't be wise to fight them head on. Captain, what do you have in mind? Yeah, Japard, right, what do you got? Go. 
We'll be using the automaton stealth bomb to cover our tracks. Automaton stealth bomb? That's what he said. I'll explain later. Let's get moving. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's let's get moving then. Shit. <laughs> Rocky is passed out behind me. Wait, hang on. <laughs> Such a goober. All right, sorry about that. Uh. All right. Uh, can't go through that door right now. Was there anything over here that I needed to get? There's a little robot man. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nothing up here. Nothing of importance. Look, down there. It's the IPC. Let's Keep go kick their ass. One minute's time to deploy. Oh, we got to do the stealth bomb. Are you ready? I'm, I just want to kick, kick his ass. Use the automaton bomb to wipe out the IPC threats. Okay. Remember, I just try to, to avoid ass. being noticed. Uh, when controlling the automaton stealth bomb, press the attack button to trigger self detonation and stun all enemies in the attack radius to complete the challenge. But if the automaton fails to stun all the enemies at once or is discovered by enemies, the challenge will be failed and written off. Try to avoid the enemy's line of sight and use sprint to approach your enemies and take them all down at once. Oh, hang on a minute. Yep, he's walking back. He's so cute. He just crawls around like a little crab. Yeah. Take that, IPC oh, wow. bitch. We wipe them all out in a single explosion. That's what you call efficiency. Yeah, I didn't have to do anything. It's a shame we had to resort to this method. But we had no All right, here we go. I've seen another bomb. Robots like Correct. Hopefully the autom automaton Automaton time. You remember. Try to Uh-oh. Uh they didn't go very far. I think the dude is face. Wait, is the dude facing the other way? I'm confused. Oh, the coast is clear. This is fun. I, I like to blowing honest, things up. I, I still want to attack so them powerful. like my own way, but good thing still everything fun. went according to plan. Oh. That's what that was. Okay. Oh, and this is blocked off now. I want to go up there, though. This is the road that Topaz took when she left Rivet Town. Oh, well, let's go let's take a look. Her and tell her about... Ah, this time. The gloves are off. This time, the gloves are off. We're going to kick ass. Old weapon testing ground. Nice neon lights. This is really cool. Mr. Sfarog! Mr. Sfarog? Are you alright? I hope Topaz and her IPC henchmen didn't hurt you. Greetings, outsiders. System functions are normal. I have had no conflict with the IPC's representatives. Well, that's good. I thought we might be facing off against each other for a moment. Such a result would be highly undesirable. Topaz is ahead. She had the means to force me to comply with her orders, but chose not to. Mm. From her perspective, the only way to preserve Bellabot is by incorporating it into the IPC. While I do not agree with her viewpoint, I lack the computational power to provide evidence to the contrary. While it is unlikely, I still encourage the avoidance of any potential conflicts. So he disagrees, he just doesn't know why, but at least he... Meaning there could still he, be conflicts. He's very self-aware. Don't worry, March. The Express never pursues conflict as a first means. But if it comes down to it, we won't back down either. And I won't back down. I won't back down. 
down, baby. No, we did the right thing. There is no easy way out. I'm gonna get copyright claimed. <laughs> Stand my ground. And I won't back down. Why would oh, let me Topaz down. come here? Is she looking Because why something? not? It's possible. She can Many if she wants. Lurk what the hell does the that mean? This world. J53 or JS3? I don't know. Thank ya. Topaz! Stop it! It's not very nice what you're doing. Oh, hey there, Stop it! Balls. I was starting to think you weren't gonna show up. Hmm. This lady next to Miss March looks oddly familiar. Oh, you know Himiko, huh? You know Himiko, huh? Pleasure to meet you, Miss Topaz. I'm Himiko, the Astral Express's navigator. Oh, wow. <laughs> I remember now. The illustrious Miss Himiko. <laughs> Some of my colleagues dream about meeting you. Damn. <laughs> they dream about other stuff with her too. Himiko, is that famous? Of course. The Nameless have quite the reputation. You're following in the footsteps of the great Akavili after all. Oh. I'm pleased to see how well everyone's been getting along. Topaz, based on your greeting, I presume you have a good grasp of the current situation? Of course! The deadline has already passed, but Branya still hasn't signed the contract. I think I can guess what's holding her back. Please, How don't do you know? Us, Ms. Topaz. I don't think she knows we have no what's intention holding her of back. Opposing the IPC or its board of directors, but we have very dear friends on Urillo 6. Standing idly by and watching them sign an unfair contract goes against everything the Nameless are about. Um, yeah, that's not Himiko, cool. Sorry for interrupting. That is not cool but at all. This doesn't sound like a negotiation. We needn't waste our time, March. She made her decision ten minutes ago. <laughs> There's no fooling the Astral Express. You're absolutely right. Differing views don't necessarily mean one person is right and the other is wrong. However, to keep things moving forward, there's usually only one solution. There's only one solution to this mess. Uh huh? Well, what do you mean? My superiors have granted me the approval I need. Uh, your va your vacation time has been approved. <laughs> I wish. <sighs> so many eager. <laughs> I wish. I <laughs> Approval to launch an attack on the members of the Astral Express. Oh. What the frick? The best kept secret to getting something over the line. Always be ready to turn the table. Go, Numby. <laughs> Uh, uh oh. Projects under my wing have no room for error. <laughs> Numby, you little bitch. Three battles. God damn it. Alright, here we go. Yep, shield. Shield. Uh huh. Honored to meet me. Uh, hang on. Sing! Sing! Welcome to my world! The dice have been bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Uh, uh, no! I don't know how to do it! Sure, I'll play with it. It's on me. One more time, one more time. Dirty uh. Time to twirl. Awesome inside. Watch it. Blah! 
Oh, the third battle. To travel. To my world. Come on. Come on, kick ass. Oh my god. <laughs> Just going ham on him. Oh my god, shit. Ah. Uh, Damn, I was doing so good. I should have just waited until the third battle. Oh well. I already kicked his ass like quite a bit. So he's he's hurting. Ah! Stop! Sure, I'll play along. Commencing research. Yep. Restore, restore, restore. Health, 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 health. Trust me. Yeah, buddy! Yeah, buddy! Better, better. Hey, sing again! Sing again! Sing! Welcome to my... Yeah, come on! Try this again. Oh, shit. Ow, ow, ow. The dice have bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Oh, shit! Oh, my God! <laughs> Hit him! Yeah! Yeah! Last one, bitch! Mmm! Robin is so cool! <laughs> this is awesome! Robin helps me kick flippin' ass! Incredible! No wonder the Astral Express is so highly regarded. Damn straight, we are that good. We are that good. Now up. what are you gonna do? Now it's my turn. Oh shit. Stop! All of you, put down your weapons. Uh, Braga, oh, what? Oh, you're here just in time. Things were about to get out of control. Uh, Supreme Guardian. I was starting to wonder whether you'd left the express crew to fend for themselves. <laughs> that would hardly be becoming of you. Mm -hmm. I would never do such a thing. There was an important matter that required my attention. And it was her people. Uh, more important than this? Yes. I think you'll understand the significance once you see it. In short, I, don't, I don't know what the significance is. I need you to help us evaluate our current progress. Help you? Hmm. That's interesting. I was under the impression you'd already decided to obstruct our operations here. I have read your letter word for word, Miss Topaz. And your childhood experiences truly touched me. Your hometown once experienced a similar catastrophe to Yarillo 6. So I can understand uh -huh. your perspective on the issue and the position you have taken. I'm, I'm listening very intently. It's because of this empathy you have that I still hold out a glimmer of hope. Despite all that's happened, I hope we can still find common ground through peaceful means. No, no, absolutely not. <laughs> I have to admit, Talking to you is always such a pleasure. I apologize for my behavior just now. It, it was, uh, inappropriate. I admire your determination. They're, they're, they're gonna be fucking. <laughs> um, uh, this far, I've changed my mind. I'll hold off a little longer and see what you have to show me. But remember, winning over the higher-ups won't be easy. Just give them some time. I understand. That's why I've been taking things one step at a time. Yep. The first step was changing your mind. Members of the Express, we'll need your help too. Oh shit. Now I gotta do more work. God damn it. Yay! Challenge completed! Woo! Hooray! Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick break. I'll be back. All right. This whole site. This district. Have you been here before? Mm. Yeah, I have been here yes. before. This is where we put an end to it all. Let us through. Kyle, sorry for the delay. The path ahead is clear, madam. Excellent. Let's go. <laughs> 
Are we clear? The path is clear. What is this place? Ow! Ow! I just ran over my foot with the chair! Right? <laughs> We've only recently discovered this domain. Let's keep moving forward. I think I've been here before. What I want to show you is just ahead. Because the thing was there. Have I already been here? <laughs> oh, wow. What the hell is this? Maybe I haven't been here before. What the hell? Look. Full on in the great mine. Oh, this is a great mine. Not given up. I just want to give them a chance. Yeah, come on. Let let us have a chance. Do Don't you take away their that chance. Broken down machine over there? Uh, it's Cocolia's. Hey, shh, that's a secret. Oh, sorry. Well, I it's thought everyone knew. The engine of creation. Do you remember it? Uh, barely, but sure. Miss Topaz, I know you've done a lot of research into Bellabog. I was wondering if there was any information on the engine of creation in your records. Apparently not. <laughs> not at all. Which is why I find it so incredible. Such a massive feat of engineering, yet there's not a single mention of it in any of the Strategic Investment Department's reports. I may know the reason why. The engine of creation was constructed solely by the people of Bellabog, without any external assistance. The project was led by the first Supreme Guardian, Alyssa Ran. While warriors fought on the front lines, the engineers worked tirelessly behind the scenes, designing and constructing it. So what you're saying is, the engine of creation was a weapon constructed by the Bellabogians themselves? Yes, that is exactly yes, what she's but saying. not entirely. The engine of creation was commissioned for combat shortly after its completion and played a significant role in the battles against the Legion. But Alyssa Rand had a long-term vision, one that nobody anticipated. For a long time, this feat of engineering was codenamed the Geological Reconstruction Unit. Mm. It was actually given a much grander purpose, to help the Bellabogians rebuild their homeland and restore their world to its former glory, after driving away all those who threatened it. That's crazy. <sighs> Remarkable. A vision that would transcend both time and generations of Bellabogians. Madame Rand was truly an inspiring leader. Yeah, until she got taken over by a damn Not Stellaron. Not to take away from the Supreme Guardian in front of me. <laughs> She's quite the inspiring leader as well. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Thank you. But I didn't really do anything. Yeah, you didn't do shit. All I did was bring the people of Bellabog together and make them aware that our hard-earned freedom was under immense threat once again. No, if we not want again. To preserve this freedom. We must act and show those who doubt us that we Bellabog have the will and the ability to control our own destiny. Yeah. The what she said. The outcome of our mobilization speaks for itself. The children of Bellabog have made their decision. They have chosen to preserve this homeland with their own two hands. Yeah, cuz that's what they've been getting taught. I must say, I didn't anticipate this at all. No, you didn't, because you're a bitch. All, all you are is a debt collector. I'll fight for this opportunity for you, Branya. I shouldn't have conflated your own circumstances with my childhood. That was a serious lapse of judgment. <laughs> a continuous and serious the lapse of my judgment. <laughs> People gave up on the idea of saving themselves long ago. But your civilization has persisted through the snow and storms for 700 years. A truly admirable feat. Then, mm -hmm. are you willing to retract your previous decision? As for the debt, we'll find a way to gradually repay it. But it'll take some time. 
Unfortunately, the acquisition of Urillo 6 is it's a still a no! Decision that's been approved by the Are you kidding me? Conference. That's so stupid! Even if I wanted to overturn it, convincing them would be extremely difficult. Unless... Just try! Yeah, you go with her. You Don't go with worry, her. Miss Topaz. Myself and all of the nameless aboard the Astral Express are willing to vouch for this world. <laughs> oh, there's not a lot of people on the Astral that Express. Might <laughs> work. As for the uh, reports and potential accountability. <sighs> what about them? I'll handle it. All right, good, good. Good, yeah, you handle it. You handle it, because I don't want to handle it. I've been handling so much of your shit. Talk to Branya and Topaz. This is really cool looking. I, I, I like all this, this is awesome. Miss Topaz, you mentioned accountability. <sighs> don't worry, it's, it's nothing I can't handle. You can't there handle are more it. You're lying. Than titles and ranks. Finding the best solution is what matters most. Well, then what's the best solution? Will they cut your pay? If that's what they want to do, then so be it. I've long passed the stage of working just for money. Uh, thank you so oh, much right. for all you've if, done. If you say so, I, I don't really believe you, but if you say so. Again. Much less one that might cause a rift between you and the IPC. A rift? I wouldn't go that far. Also, it's me who's mostly to blame. I didn't keep my subordinates in check. No, you didn't. Mind putting in some good words for me oh, with your bosses? Sure yeah. Well, Miss Topaz. Ah, it's been. All right, Miss Topaz. Oh, we're 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 gonna go to the hotel. Okay. Well, I get. I guess we're going to sleep. I guess we're going to sleep. That's that's what we're planning. Well, it's free time. Why not make the most of it with a game? No. Adventuring, no. Absolutely not. I've been wondering, how did you figure out what was happening here on Bellabog, Himeko? I don't care. <laughs> I just went through the corridor. <laughs> March was looking forward to the Soulworm Festival for ages. Looks like she's missed her chance this time. I never thought this trip would be so... <sighs> tiring. <sighs> time for bed. Time for bed. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Oh, uh-oh. What's going on? In light of the events that have transpired, we will be taking the following disciplinary measures against you. Your rank will be demoted from P45 to P44 with corresponding adjustment to your basic salary. All bonuses for the current cycle will be revoked, including stock options and performance bonuses. Damn. You will need to submit an additional report regarding this incident to Diamond. If you have any objections to this penalty, you may also file an appeal in writing. I have no objections. Understood. Is there anything else anyone would like to add? Mm, no. If there are no further remarks, this meeting is concluded. <laughs> now she's oh, sad. You only got demoted one rank? Phew! You dodged a bullet there. Pretty big project to mess up on. Someone must be looking out for you. Oh, they've already left the call. Yeah, they did. Ugh, yeah, this you're... voice changer is driving me crazy. Let me turn it off. Who Adventuring? are you? Why are you still Adventuring? Hey, what's with the hostility? It's not like I'm your boss. Oh, wait. I guess I am now. <laughs> My apologies. I'm still getting used to my new place in the hierarchy. Can I help you? Huh? If you've got okay. to say, say it already. Come on, adventuring. Oh, say what important. you need to say. Just checking in on you. 
I told you Urillo 6 would be a high-risk, low-reward case. Why do you even bother? In our line of work... You're- you're fighting with her! ...be more of a liability than an asset. If you're not careful, you'll end up leading yourself down a dead-end road. Damn. Else? If not, I'm hanging up. Wait. Hold on a minute. Don't hang up. I get it. You're not in the mood for this conversation right now. Okay. How about this? Something that might interest you. What is oh, it? You were enjoying Money? your playtime on your real six. You gamble Diamond a lot. Was busy taking care of the head honcho of the building material logistics department. That's why he didn't attend today's meeting. Mmm. Terravan. That's right. The renowned Terravan. One of the seven board members. He's throwing his support behind us instead of the marketing development department for once. <laughs> Oswaldo, Oswaldo won't be, won't be laughing, laughing anymore. anymore. <laughs> Diamond's been a great help to both of us. Your antics on such a crucial day can't exactly have painted the strategic investment department in a good light, you know? <laughs> Damn, Since you get the point, let's get down to business. I'm currently at Pierpoint. There's a major deal that could affect the whole department. I just so happen to need a reliable project manager for the job. What do you say, old friend? Huh. I like how and this is zoomed into her boobs the while Avenger they're talking. To start collaborating with others. Panacone. What else? Panacone! That's where I'm going to be going next! <laughs> that's right. Now that's the kind of reaction I was hoping for. Uh, hold on a minute. Diamond picked you for this project? I, I was expecting someone like Opal or uh, Obsidian to handle it. At least someone uh, I, higher I, I than I get it. Yeah, the, they're all they're all like gems and stuff. Honestly, who knows? The family has some pretty questionable characters. If you ask me, doing business with them is a lost cause. But as we both know, the IPC does more than just business deals. Guess it's my time to shine. So, how about it? This is a rare opportunity. Consider it. You never know. You might even be able to make up for your blunder on your Rillo 6. Oh, damn. I'll get back Aventurine to you later. Adventuring is saucy. <laughs> like, maybe you can uh, fix your <sighs> fuck up. Seems like it's just one wild ride after another. Uh, apparently so. Where are you I going? I hope I made the right decision this time. Where are you going? Numby! Hey! It's a little bear! It's a little bear like in the museum! Now it's mesmerizing. Indeed, it is. It is so mesmerizing. Yay! We finished it! Topaz and Numbi have become visitors. That's awesome! View the message from the crew. I don't want to view the message from the crew yet. Hooray! I leveled up uh, missions. Oh, no more continuous missions right now. Not until we get through to Pentacony. So, that's the end of that. That was pretty cool. Oh, what did I achieve? Ah. Awesome. When, what can I synthesize? Oh, yeah, give me the re recipe. Give me 12! Give me 12 of all of them! I, all right, I can't do that yet. Uh, nameless honor, claim the nameless honor, claim all of the nameless honor. All right, cool. Well, that's the end of that. Now it's only the, now it's time for the Pentacony. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys whenever we do a Pentacony. Did you enjoy it? Leave a comment, like, subscribe, press the bell. We'll see you next time. Um, bye bye.